This is the Meldrum Trestle. This is where all the families and friends were at uh, June 28, 1959 on a hot summer day coming down here to cool off. Uh, train was coming going east and it derailed and a bunch of gas tanks uh, fell off the railroad tracks. One of them was pierced. It ended up exploding and it burnt uh, several acres down here. It burnt up a lot of acres and uh, there were a lot of people down here with their families. 23 people were killed in the disaster. Sunday afternoon, people go down there after church yeah. and have a party down there and go swimming. You can go on this side of the trust of swimming or you can go on each trestle and go on the other side and go swimming. Yeah. And that, like I said, that place every weekend was full of people. Okay. They come back and said it was a bad okay. wreck in Melbourne. And yeah, we had to come up a little hill right where the clubhouse was sitting at. And I happened to look over and I saw some of the people that I knew, you know. And I went on down I told my father-in-law, I said, well, I know that lady and that little baby down there. Mm -hmm. The wife went to get in the car and the fire caught and burnt. They caught the mother and the baby going to the club. She and dropped the baby. And I, it was just about a foot, foot and a half from her hand. She had them reached way out like she was trying to catch. They said, and I've never seen anything like that before. I said, no, this is the first thing that ever happened in Melbourne. And I said, I was born and raised in it. And I was done 30 something years old then. Well, I, I tell you, it's, if you, if you've been in the service and been in connected with the war, you can see stuff like that. You, know, you can see people dead and burnt, but you wouldn't think right in your hometown.